हेलो एवरीवन सो आई होप ऑडियो वीडियो एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर is it okay done guys do hit a like button first of all and uh, welcome to an academy live in dia ugc net so this will be an ugc net 2021 commerce previous year question of three shifts together we are doing it so uh, youtube live daily at 9:15 pm we are doing and tomorrow we will be having a paper one or paper two so daily at 5:30 pm in an academy free platform i am doing a daily free live session for the 2021 question papers on a shift wise basis i am discussing which will be with a explanation nowhere it is available with explanation so this is and with explanation and use the invite code shiva live to unlock the 10 percentage discount as well as to unlock the free live sessions also you can use the same code and do join into my telegram group an academy space vadnala shivlingam is my telegram group name do join over there and weekend special batch course tomorrow new chapter ict is going to start at 7 pm by so please do join into an academy plus platform complete paper one all the 10 units completed so you can just join and watch the complete courses for the recording and uh, total 10 units also available for the paper two you can watch the complete courses recordings and uh, one subscription will give you all the educator both paper one paper two subjects uh, as well as complete study material pdfs also mock test practice test and my chart wise presentation of the material also you are going to get it and moreover guys uh, this will be a 3 month subscription it is better to take the 3 months plus subscription use the invite code shiva live s h i v a l i v e to unlock the 10 percentage discount and to get all my pdf study material which is in a chart wise so today the discussion will be business finance Previous year questions will be discussed. I'm searching your legal aspects. Uh, okay. Okay, done. So this will be an uh, business finance questions by 2021 three shifts: 25th November shift one and shift two, and 25th November shift one. That is 26th November shift one. That is shift three of the commerce. Question number one. in securitization when no assets are acquired and collateral is fixed for the life of asset then the type of structure is called so answer will be of uh, option number d that is self liquidating structure answer will be self liquidating structure securitization when no assets are acquired and collateral the collateral is fixed for the life of the asset the type of structure is called as a self liquidating structure you can just look at self liquidating structure uh, means it occurs when a company becomes a bankrupt when a company becomes a bankrupt and it cannot settle the debts and obligation whatever they have to pay they are not paying so in that case self liquidation only because when you are when you will become insolvent when you are not in a position to pay off your liabilities you will become insolvent by self you will become insolvent you will become inable person unable person so when no assets are acquired and collateral is fixed for the life of the asset then that type is a self liquidating structure means you are liquidating by yourself only next Question number 
following are the problems that major optimal international diversification unfavorable exchange rate movements friction of uh, sorry frictions in international markets manipulation of security prices unequal access to information guys do hit a like button answer will be what yes option number d is the correct answer a b c d following are the problems that are optimum international diversification unfavorable exchange rate as well as frictions means changes whatever the forces in the international market manipulation is also a dynamic process it is a security prices the share prices will be fluctuating in nature unequal access of information because everybody is not having a equal access to all the information Big entities are having a uh, full access or the more access and small entities or individuals are having a less access to all the type of information. Next. So answer for this question is D, A, B, C, E, D. First, identify the potential investments. First, identify the potential investment. Later, later proposed investment, we need to uh, gather the assemble or the uh, proposed investment, whatever the alternatives are there. Later, decision making out of many proposals, which one we wanted to implement. Later, prepare a budget for each of the proposal. We are the proposal which we fixed up. Later, implementation will be a final step. This is a capital budgeting process usually. Opportunities, assembling, decision, budget, implementation, review process. Please increase your resolution and do not forget to hit a like button. Modified IRR is based on reinvestment assumption. Value additive principle is not applicable to NPV. So answer will be option C is the correct answer. Statement one is correct and second is wrong. Why second one is wrong? Value additive principle is not applicable to NPV is not correct because value additive is nothing but here present value of cash inflow is there minus outflow. The leftover is an either positive or negative plus or minus that will be an addition or a deletion will be there. So, value additive is a financial principle that says that total value of a group of assets equal to the total value of all individual assets. Combination of assets, group of assets equal to all individual assets including the uh, group. 
So as per this portfolio of total value would be summation of all the individual portfolios put together, it will be a portfolio of total value of uh, entire portfolio. Next, yes, NPV is based on the value additive, the cash inflow of every project. Next, by arrange the following in a logical sequence of operation of the registration of the portfolio managers. Good evening, Arti. So, answer will be C, A, D, B, C, E. So, first prior approval of the SEBI is required because portfolio managers, they are saying portfolio, who will be maintaining that fund. Prior approval of the SEBI, portfolio managers like, you know, like a stock broking companies by a type of angel broking company or zero da. All these are like, you know, stock broking big entities. So, those, the, those can be a portfolio managers. Prior upload with SEBI is required. Later payment of the fees. And after that, adequate step for redressal of investor grievances. And after that, maintenance of specified capital adequacy requirements. Abide by the regulation of the SEBI Act. Because Security Exchange Board of India having rules and regulations on the capital market. Which is a portfolio managers, they need to comply with it. Next. Which one of the following is not one of the advantages of derivative market? Not one of the uh, advantage of derivative market. So, option number A is the given answer. Leveraging increases the risk. Not an advantage of the derivative market. Leveraging increases the risk. This is an advantage or disadvantage. By leveraging increases the risk means, leverage means itself is a risk. So, if it is increasing now, that will be a disadvantage. Actually, by taking risk only, you will earn a profit. Usually, the rational investors are the people who are ready to take risk, are called as in what? Who are ready to take risk and by taking risk only, they wanted to earn. There are three types of players in the market by hedgers, arbitrageurs, Arbitrages are people who avoid the risk. They will avoid the risk. And hedgers are a type of a investor who will be a type of investors he will be. He will be uh, trying to mitigate the risk as much as possible. Mitigate means redu reduction of a risk. Those people. So, risk when risk increases, obviously any security or the derivative market, it will be a disadvantage position only. It will be a disadvantage. Ah, speculators are nothing but speculators. Speculators are the ones who will be taking risk for earning a profit. These are risky people. So, for them it is derivative market is disadvantage. Speculators derivative is a disadvantage. But by taking that risk only, they will earn it. Next. Salman Khatun, I don't know uh, about it, uh, but I think there are law educators also, which you can find in the channel or in the platform.
आंसर विल बी बी दट इज मार्केट रिस्क इज द थर्ड वन वेरिएशन इन द स्प्राइज स्पार्क ऑफ ड्यू टू रियल एंड सोशल पोलिटिकल एंड इकोनॉमिक इवेंट्स एंड बी इज द फोर्थ वन फाइनेंशियल रिस्क असोसिएटेड विद द कैपिटल स्ट्रक्चर एक्सटर्नल बिजनेस रिस्क इज एंड सेकेंड वन विच इज अराइज ड्यू टू चेंज इन ऑपरेटिंग कंडीशन कॉज बाय trust upon the firm which are beyond the control because external situation means beyond the control of the firm internal means within the environment within the firm if the firm can conduct its operation within their control so four types of risk didn't read the question because you are busy in gossiping na how can you read you are too much busy hello shamal ji next The value of the firm in wealth maximization objective is measured by. So answer for this question will be C. Present value of all expected future profit. Wealth maximization is nothing but present value of all expected future profit. why present value of all expected future profit because we should value today rupee have more value than tomorrow 10 rupees more value than tomorrow 10 rupees today 1 rupee value is more value than tomorrow 10 rupees so that is why present value is considered to identify your wealth based on the expected future profit present value calculation will be done that is indication of a wealth ha ah, time value of money will operate pecking order theory in finance is based on the assertion of asymmetric information between the managers and investors symmetric information between the managers and investors outside the information and asymmetric information among the investors only do not forget to hit a like button because number of learners and the likes are not matching kindly look at and hit the like button so answer will be option number a asymmetric information between the managers and investors so you can just see information which is available for the managers will be shared between the will be shared with the investors so pecking order theory in finance is purely based on that only how much you can go for the debt and how much you can go for this one or in what way actually pecking order means first preference of source of finance is that internal financing later go for the debt second level third and final source of finance should be an equity finance or the external financing so here information asymmetrically uh, leading into an higher cost of financing from external parties higher cost of financing from external parties higher cost of financing matlab debt to equity here cost will be debt cost will be more as compared to the equity because we need to pay regular and this is whenever the profit only we will pay for it next shift number 2 what is the value of the levered firm l if it has the same ebit as the unlevered firm u with a value of 700 lakhs and has a debt of 200 lakhs tax rate is 35% under the mm approach need to calculate value of the firm under the so answer will be c how to calculate value of the entire firm is equal value of levered uh, plus value of levered uh, sorry unlevered plus tax benefit so here 700 lakhs is a unlevered firm which is given 700 lakhs and debt is 200 lakhs 
tax benefit is how much 35 percent tax is given uh, in the question 35 percent tax is given so upon the debt component 200 lakhs 35 percentage is the benefit which is 70 lakhs so now the value of levered firm is equal to value of unlevered firm 70 lakhs value of uh, the tax savings which will be equal to 770 lakhs will be an value of levered firm so usually by value of levered firm value of unlevered firm plus tax benefit will give you the value of the firm total if you want to calculate either this or that need to just uh, pick up from here to there so simplification simply uh, unlevered firm also value of the uh, value of unlevered firm if they are asking now then you need to deduct the tax if they are asking unlevered firm you need to deduct the tax as they are asking levered firm you need to add the tax the percentage of discount rate used in capital investment appraisal which brings the cost of project and its future cash flows into equality is what internal rate of return because internal rate of return is a rate of return where present value of cash inflows is equal to present value of cash outflows the rate at which this both are going to be equal is called as an internal rate of return and this will be working on the principle of in, uh, in reinvestment assumption next which of the following are the reasons for raising the funds via securitization via securitization what will be the possibilities of raising the funds So answer is that B is the correct answer B C D to accelerate the earning of financial reporting purposes and to diversify the funding resources and to potential for reducing the funding cost. What are the reasons for raising the funds via securitization? Securitization is process of converting illiquid into a liquid form. That is what a securitization correct now illiquid into a liquid form is called as an securitization process. Now in this, accelerate the earning of financial reporting purposes as well as diversify the funding process, funding resources and potential for reducing. Diversification means getting from the even whether it is a overseas or normal funding also you can get it. The diversification of funding means from the different different sources we can take it. Potential for reducing a funding cost. Funding cost how we can reduce you know because we will issue the bonds instead of securities here we will issue the bonds which are underlying mortgages usually will go for the debt instrument underlying mortgages document will be there for this underlying mortgages and to accelerate the earning of financial securitization is a source or uh, conventional or non-conventional this question is also asked i think somewhere here as this statement number one is removed now it is making this as an securitization as an conventional securitization is making that as an conventional right because of that so benefits of securitization you can see liquidity balance sheet benefit balance sheet benefit is nothing but reporting purposes that is what second reporting wala and risk management protection of the investor diversification third statement Next. Shalini, Shalini was asking that question. Which of the following is false statement? Capital market is a market uh, for a medium and long term. 
GDR is a negotiable instrument issued by the US bank. Many publicly listed securities or companies in India are traded in uh, shares through Bombay Stock Exchange or the NSE. Securities that are listed on a various stock exchanges are eligible for being traded there called as unlisted securities. Bhai, question is asking, what are the reasons for rising funds by the, by the uh, securitization? By securitization, if you take this as a modern source of procuring, then why it is not a reason? Correct now, if it is a modern source, it is a new type of procuring a funding. If that be the case, then it is non-conventional also correct now. It is to raise the capital using non-conventional also correct. So, because of that only, as the answer is not provided that one, I am saying securitization is a conventional one. Securitization is a conventional one. Based on that, I am saying. Otherwise, there is no information actually not available in the option. GDR is a negotiable instrument issued by the US. No, other than the US. This is European Stock Exchange. GDR's global depository receipts are traded in European stock exchanges. Capital market plays an important role in mobilizing the resources and diverting them in a productive channels. Capital market is a market where buyers and sellers engage in the trade of financial securities like a bonds and issues. So, answer will be A. Both the statements are correct. Capital market where buyer and seller engage in trading of financial securities, mobilizing the resource and diverting them in a productive channels. Both the statements are correct. And uh, the annual demand of an item is 3200. The unit cost is 6. Inventory carrying charges are 25% per annum. If the cost of procurement is 150 rupees, determine the number of orders per year. This is the EVO Q question under root of 2 into 3200 and uh, ordering cost uh, 150 rupees, cost of one procurement is 150 rupees, unit cost is 6 rupees, inventory carrying cost 25 percentage, number of orders. So, cost of one order, procurement means order, cost of one order 150 and carrying cost per unit is that 6 rupees into 25 percentage. That is 2 into 3200 into 150 divided by 6 into 25 multiplied by 100. The 100 will go up. So, 25 ones are 25 fours are right. And uh, two threes are six, and three fives are fifty. Three fives are fifty. Thirty two into f so thirty two hundred into fifty. How much? Thirty two hundred into fifty. How much? Please do hit a like button. Thirty two into five. One lakh sixty, yeah, sixty four. Ah. So how much sixteen thousand means? 16,000 means how much it will be? 
800 is it answer is what b is the correct answer yes 4 4 za no 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 i think this the evo q is how much please tell me the evo q i want a evo q 160000 by but what will be the evo q what will be the evo q because this will be 800 yes 800 will be evo q number of orders they are asking annual requirement 3200 number of orders are uh, like uh, 800 is the each order evo q so 2020 8 fours are 32 so four orders will be there number of orders are four orders option b next the net profits of a partnership business providing income tax of the last five years 80,000 1 lakh 1 lakh 20 125 22 lakhs and the capital employed in the business is 10 lakhs normal rate of return is 10 percentage the value of a goodwill on the basis of annuity method i think this should go into the com, uh, accounting chapter So, answer will be option number C is the correct answer 94,770. So, average profit how to calculate total here 80, 1 lakh, 120, 125, 2 lakhs is given total. Right, total 2 lakhs, uh, the total divided by 5 years, 1 lakh 25,000 average profit. Normal profit capital employed 10 lakhs and 10 percentage is the normal rate of return. So, that 10 lakh into 10 percentage, 1 lakh will be the normal profit. Difference between average and normal profit will be 25,000. Annuity method means super profit, average and normal profit will be super profit multiplied by annuity value 3.790 which will be equal to 25,000 into 3 point something by. So, 25 into 3 which will be a 75 but 3.5 something again it is making it is better to do 3.5 into 25. So, it will be 90 plus some around. So, the approximately you can get the answer because only one option is available with a 90. 90 remaining all are this is 2500 79 and all are outside the 90 next Concentrate on the class by concentrate, concentrate, kuch nahi hoga. Time pass ka batti. Option C is the correct answer. Sir, B is the correct answer. A3. Hedgers are the uh, hedgers are the one who are commercial producers and financial derivatives in India which is an increasing volatility. It is too only not given, yes. And C, arbitrages are riskless profit. Commodity of future uh, in origin is Osaka. Commodity future in origin, Osaka. Actually, this is an exceptional matching. Hedgers and arbitrages were given by. Hedgers and arbitrages were given. Hedgers are given as in commercial. Hedgers are who? Who will be reducing a risk by incurring a cost, trying to mitigate the risk. They wanted to reduce the risk. That is what a 
commercial producer means who are the original traders who are the manufacturers they will take less risk they wanted to avoid the risk and they wanted to mitigate the risk risk avoiders are comes under here and arbitrages are riskless profits riskless and they are also called as an risk avoiders whereas commodity feature in origin is an osaka i think osaka is a place if i am not wrong still i didn't got the explanation for it osaka commodity of future osaka is a place where the commodity market has been originated exceptional matching following is not an approach to the structure of indian financial system this can be a banking question also how to get all my pyqs at an academy plus you can join and get and that this 2021 pyqs i am doing it in the youtube you can search simply godnala shivlingam 2021 commerce previous year questions are the 2021 paper one previous year questions like that so your answer is c by answer is c a brokerage can be either be full service or discount because brokerage can be either full service or a discount they are asking about a not an approach to a structure in indian financial system in brokerage we are following in india and the financial system is concerned about money and credit finance yes we are following in india housing finance simply refers to providing finance for a venture capital by housing finance and venture capital what is the logic venture capital is for startups startup investor housing finance is for housing finance is mainly for construction as well as uh, the purchase of the loan both will be there that is not correct as in the context of it so 26th morning shift next yes loan for housing purpose correct sure sure shruti so answer will be d is the correct answer how d a3 european option is an 3 contract exercise only on the maturity date only on maturity because european options are very sorry only on the maturity date it will be there it will be you can exercise only on the maturity date and option premium is a one which is paying for the advance to exercise the option you are paying the premium that is paid by the buyer to exercise an upfront like advance it will be to exercise the advance next in money option is an second one immediate exercise spot whatever the positive value that we are going to american option is an us one it can be up to the date of maturity any date on the date or any date up to the maturity you can exercise that option next yes it is okay you can see na you are writing which one of the following is considered as a necessary precondition by richard roll for markets become efficient this is item question richard roll is there still 
He is a foreign professor. So answer for this question will be D. I didn't got the explanation for this question. But chalo, it's okay to do it. Traders who makes living by beating the market through trading. Who makes a living beating the market through trading. Trading matlab by doing selling and buying activities. They are going to make their life or living. Their daily living beating the market means by doing this trading they are beating the market. Beating the market means so if if they are doing as they are doing this buying and selling activity then only this market beating is happening otherwise nothing will happen correct now they are doing somebody buying somebody selling that is why market is getting beaten over here as per the richard rule markets are becoming efficient and markets are becoming more strengthened because of the trading and we based on the trading market is going to be beaten so that is what his context But that is nowhere written from, don't know from where they have taken. Two companies with the same general earning power and same general position in an industry, the one playing, the one paying larger dividend will be almost always sell at a higher price. The discounted value of a near dividend is higher than the present worth of the distant dividends. So option C is the correct answer this one both A and R are correct and correct explanation. Two companies same general earning power same general position of an industry one is larger dividend almost uh, one one is paying larger dividend will almost always at a uh, always sell at a higher price who is paying more dividend they are having a higher price of sales. The discounted value of near dividend is higher than the present worth of the distant dividends. So here answer is given as in C because more dividend, more price, the market price will be increased due to when you are issuing a more price, um, sorry, more dividend and discounted value of a near dividend is higher than the present worth of this. This statement is there now this statement discounted value of near dividends means if you reduce the discount, if you, if you reduce the dividend to much extent means just a small change or a small discount in the uh, dividend will be impacting on the current year value more will be impacting on the current year value more that is what the context here. So because they are actually in the context of more more dividend will give you more selling price when you discount that one it will impact on the present worth of the market price. Next question which of the following is not a feature of Indian capital market. co-promote state level venture funds, government rules and regulation, link between saver and investment opportunities, utilizes intermediaries. Indra Nainani Bada, Ekka Nuncho Astaru, Eda Eda Type Jo Astaru, Inta Kali Lekun Nuncho 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 Astaru, Psychic Mentality Unta Etla, Option A is the correct answer. Co-promote state level venture funds. Which of the following is not a feature of Indian capital market? Co-promotes the state level. There is nothing promotion of state level or any level by. So not a Indian. Uh, this is actually Indian capital market. Total national level they are asking. So where is the question of state level? Government rules and regulations link between the savers and investment opportunities utilize the intermediaries. That is what the capital market features also. Next. And the same put choose a session, Edo exam prepare in a qualified thought together, and a session look at she type JC than the JC Badlu. 
prepare for some exam by listening these classes or any any classes wherever you are going option b is the given answer for this question that is a c e cash flows are presumably reinvested in capital de, uh, capital budgeting decision at discounted rate and c cost of capital e internal rate of return and market rate and risk less rate will not be possible because inflows will be reinvested at a with some cost of capital and expectation only but here this this reinvestment decision will be changing in the irr method in the irr method they will assume that it will be reinvested at a irr because of that only this is becoming an answer but generally capital budgeting decision will be reinvested at a either discount rate or cost of capital rate this is possible only in case of irr method the internal rate of return reinvestment can be done so that is also one of the answer basic premise of mm approach is based on which of the following asymmetrical information efficient capital markets investors rationality diverse business risk profile 100 percent dividend payout ratio answer will be option c b c e because mm approach modi gilani and miller approach assumptions they are asking they are assuming that efficient capital market and c which is investor rationality diverse sorry 100 percent dividend payout ratio diverse business risk profile means here risk is changed when risk changes law will fail that theory will fail so that is why a sorry b c and e asymmetrical will not be there by because symmetrical information is going to be there not asymmetrical it is not based on the source of uh, fund so there will be a perfect capital market no retained earnings 100 percent dividend declared no corporate taxes 100 percent rational investors dividend payout ratio 100 percent business consists of the same level of risk no risk changing so that is giving an answer Option A is the given answer that is lagging. A practice of delaying receipts from the foreign currency, designated receivables, whose currencies are likely to appreciate and delaying foreign currency designated payables, whose currencies are likely to depreciate is known as. So, first, uh, delaying the receipts which are likely to appreciate, delaying the payments which are likely to depreciate which are likely to depreciate delaying the payments which are likely to depreciate which are likely to uh, delay in receipt which are to be appreciated so that is what lagging word let me explain lagging by what does this lagging means lagging is an assess the current state of the business where the leading indicator predict the future state of affairs something when you are doing ulta call doesn't lagging option sahi nahi hai Abba, is it this one? Ah, Sahi Naya Matlab. I thought the options are not given correct. It is correct only here. Okay, I understood. So, whenever receipts are coming now, if it is going to appreciate in the future, you will make the delay in receipt. You will try to make delay lagging behind. You will intentionally do the delay if the price of this receipt is going to increase in future because you will get more in currency now when the payment is going to make you will make again the delay in the future if it is going to decrease in the future if it is decreasing now then you will make a delay because in the future you can pay it less amount so you will wait for them uh, uh, to decrease the price you will wait for the price to decrease and here you will wait for the price to increase 
whenever the depreciation is going on for the payment you will wait for the delay because a pre depreciation is there and you will delay it because in the future price is going to be appreciated which will increase your revenue next by 12 7 percent over the three years growth average annual increase over this period will be lagging 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 means delay remember that part so answer will be less than eight percentage here compound annual growth ev divided by bb uh, power 1 by n minus 1 into 100 ending value divided by beginning value so your annual rate of return first year 5 percentage second year 12 percentage third year 7 percentage so 100 plus 5 percentage 108 105 plus 12 percentage 117 117 plus 7 percentage 125 so ending value will be 125 beginning value will be beginning value will be uh, 100 so 125 divided by 100 upon 1 by 3 years minus 1 into 100 which will give you 7.90 which is less than 8 percentage d is the correct answer there is a new form new formula and need to remember by please remember this one what is the sustainable growth what is the sustainable growth what is the sustainable growth of the company that enjoys a return on a equity equal to 30 percentage and a dividend payout ratio 40 percentage option will be b option will be b sustainable growth rate enjoys a return on equity equal to 30 percentage and dividend payout ratio will be 40 percentage so ho 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 how to calculate this one by then So, total return is that 30 upon this, it is like EPS, upon this 40 percentage means how much? 12 percentage is the dividend, 12 percentage is the DPS, dividend payout ratio, DPR, remaining 18 percentage will be retained earnings, retained earnings how to calculate? b into r that is growth with b into r is nothing but a growth only that that is how the retained earnings will be calculated correct correct yes remaining will be 18 percentage right so that's how the questions total number of questions bus by all the business finance related to three shifts of commerce examination which was recently happened in the 2021 these are the business finance questions i hope you are getting a clarity now the how commerce questions are asked total unit num four units completed till now now tomorrow we will be having fifth unit which is business statistics uh, will be there tomorrow evening 9 15 pm in the youtube live and do join in my telegram group an academy space what nala shivlingam do follow me in at an academy uh, platform the link is available in the description just download an academy learning app and search my profile what nala shivlingam or the link is given below and moreover do join in my daily free live session at 5 30 pm so that is paper one is going on previous year question and use the invite code shiva live to unlock the free classes thank you do hit a like button do not forget to subscribe to this channel we'll be meeting in the next session bye bye to all good night